morning so welcome to my experience of dr hill's 30 day regime day two and i'm gonna be honest i did not have the best experience yesterday nothing bad so i didn't have any adverse reactions or anything like that i just didn't have the best day um i started off well so i put balance on the bottom of my feet and i put frankincense under my tongue i then decided not to take my llv because i wasn't having breakfast and I wasn't having breakfast because I was having a root canal and I don't like having breakfast before I have a root canal. I feel like I'm going to throw up on the dentist. Um, so, yeah, so that didn't go too well. So, but I didn't get home until like half 10, 11-ish from this root canal. So I decided to not take my LLV then and to just wait until lunchtime and take two lots. Now, two lots is what you're recommended to have in the morning anyway. But last time I tried this, it didn't go well. So I was a bit sceptical, but it was fine. And I think that's because I had the um, the PB Assist as well as the Terrazyme with it. I think that's really helping to settle my stomach. Um, but yeah, so that didn't go well. So I had two and that was fine, but I, didn't, I just didn't feel great. I hadn't felt the energy that I'd felt on day one. Now that's not to say that the that was because of the supplements or the oils I just think I wasn't having a great day and then I just didn't get any better really so I used the I used elevation instead of citrus bliss which is another mood oil so you can use you can swap these out doesn't really matter as long as you're using one of them I just wanted to see if it made any particular difference and to be honest not really um, it does make me it's a happy oil it makes me feel happy but I can kind of do that with wild orange so not a huge difference for me um and I, I used grapefruit in my water and remembered why I don't use grapefruit in my water and I, I love grapefruit I love the smell it works really well with breathe in the diffuser but it always makes my tongue tingly I don't know what it is there's always like this la 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 kind of feeling and so I'm going to use lemon tomorrow today day three just to see if it feels any different because I don't remember lemon, excuse me, I don't remember lemon doing that to me. And then what happened? Yeah, okay, and then I ate dinner really early. I actually ate it with my son yesterday. So I had dinner around the five o'clock mark, which is too early for me. I don't normally eat till eight. So I ended up really, really ravenous. So unlike yesterday when my meals were spread out, I'd had my snacks. I just wasn't prepared for this day, even though I wasn't rushed off my feet. I think that's why if I'm if I know I'm going to be rushed off my feet, I'm really prepared, and if I'm not, it just doesn't work. So that didn't go too well. And then, sorry, I've got a really itchy nose. I don't know why. Like, anyway, yeah. So I started. I put cedar wood on my feet. I started diffusing serenity, and I love serenity. But I just decided I wanted to like Netflix and chill, like actually just Netflix and binge watch like TV after I'd done everything else for that evening. And I started getting really sleepy around the 8 o'clock mark, which is too early. So I was like, no, no, I have to stay awake. And I, I can go to bed at 9 o'clock and that's fine. But this was just too, too early. I was like, no, no, I have to, I have to stay awake. So I decided to keep watching this. Should have listened to my body. Um... And then I forgot to take my capsules again. So I had to take those and then I pushed bedtime back a bit. But I went to bed earlier than I did yesterday. So I went to bed around half past ten. But I was buzzing. Like, I don't know what happened. Because I, I left the room that the diffuser was in. Seriously. Um, so I couldn't smell the serenity anymore. I'd just taken the capsules and I was like, oh no, it'll be fine, I can just go to bed. I could not go, I could not switch off, so I was just like, tossing and turning for ages. And I had pretty good sleep, like, it was a bit interrupted again, I think it was better than yesterday's. But again, I woke up earlier than I normally would and I woke up tired. I actually woke up with a cluster headache, that's like, the ones behind your eye. They're really painful. And they actually can't, I can't make them go away unless I'm sleeping. So I'm going to have that with me today. And it'll be interesting to see if any of the supplements help kind of get rid of that. But I'm not holding my breath, but I'm not, 
I'm a little bit skeptical of that, but we'll see, because none of them are actually specifically for headaches, so I could take my frankincense with me, I could take my peppermint with me, um, and see how that goes. But all in all, not the best experience. But I did everything, which is a win. Didn't do them in the right order, but this is all about progress and building habits, not perfection. So I'm okay with that. And if you guys are struggling with this or you think it's too much, then, you know, listen to your body. Take what works for you and try again tomorrow. There's no, oh, I'll start on Monday. It's just try again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.